What's up guys, Zeshin here. Welcome back to another episode of Weekly Gaming News. Sorry this one's a day late, but uh, the Fridays I usually record these. I had to work, I like, I usually don't work that day. And then Saturday, well, I went to a barbecue and it was just busy all day. And today, which is Sunday, when I usually upload, I worked in the morning and I came home and took like a three hour nap. So, uh, so yeah, this is gonna go up a day late, uh, but this is not like a normal thing. I've only been late like twice since I came back, so. This video actually went up later than I even wanted it to because I had a scheduling issue at work and I didn't end up, I wasn't able to finish editing the video in time, so now it's gonna go up probably, I don't know, probably I'd get out of work at 9, so pretty late probably if today, if not, then it'll be up tomorrow. I don't know, you'll know when you see this. The first story I want to talk about is apparently there might be a new Ape Escape or something in development or coming out because uh, of some Twitter stuff. So I guess a new Twitter account uh, by the name of Pipasaur 20th, whatever that means, um, tweeted out this image, tweeted out an image that translates, uh, this is new, yeah, this new account, tweeted out an image about Apescape, and it translates to 20 years since then, I've been running around, but I, I wonder if anyone's chasing anymore. Yeah, and I, I guess this could be a fake counter order, but it's notable, notable because the official Sony Interactive uh, Entertainment Japan, uh, or Japan Studio, they follow this account. So that seems pretty likely that a new Apescape of some sort of remaster or a collection could be in the works, and that's excited for Apescape fans. I've never played one. Still on the topic of PlayStation, I guess Sony has patented another way to help reduce load times in the PlayStation 5. I guess this patent is called a system and method for dynamically loading game software for smooth gameplay. So that's cool. It basically says something about like the game will figure out where you are, what's already loaded, and then figure out pretty much where you are in, this, in the markers in the engine of some sort, then load the next section before you need to get there, so it won't have to load at all. So it's like kind of a clever way of like not loading more than it needs to, but loading when it does need to. I don't really know technology pretty well. So, but yeah, that seems cool. Load times are a thing people complain about a lot. I, unless you're like horrendously long, I don't mind load times that bad. Sometimes load, t load screens can be cool, like get tips or you know, quick little like funny jokes or something depending on the game, but um, yeah, but this seems cool for people who care. So this next one, still on the play topic of PlayStation, seems like there's a theme here. So I got an email that um, Sony Rewards is taking away the trophy passes to earn Sony Reward Points. So in case you didn't know, like last November or so, or even longer, I'm not quite sure, but Sony introduced trophy passes to the Sony Rewards. So basically, if you earned a certain amount of silver, gold, or platinum trophies, you would earn a certain amount of Sony Rewards. You could redeem them for physical games or digital codes or a bunch of other stuff on the Sony Rewards site. So on November 7th, 2019, they're removing them to replace them with something else. Apparently, this is something Sony Rewards does. They change the passes. They, like, rotate them out or something like that. But this is a really good one, and I think it encouraged people to actually try to, like, earn more platinum trophies and stuff like that, which... That's fine. I mean, some people are like, oh, they don't really care. I don't understand. Like, I like earning trophies. It's fun. And this was an extra incentive to do so because you can actually redeem them for physical things. Like, so far, I've redeemed three things with my Sony Awards thanks to trophies. I got uh, Nino Kuni 2, I got Unchart Uncharted the Nathan Drake Collection, and then I redeemed like a $20 uh, PSN code and I bought a bunch of games on sale during the Flash sale that was recent. But so this kind of sucks that they're going away, but you still have time. You got until November 7th to earn up some trophies so you can redeem them. So yeah, but this is sad news and this is something that, uh, that I personally saddened by because I really liked earning trophies and earning points and redeeming things with them. I actually felt like I was doing something with my time instead of being a loser. So Sony has revealed the free PS Plus games for July 2019, which will be available tomorrow as of this video is uploading, but on Tuesday as of the recording, so in a couple days. Anyway, yeah, the first Tuesday of the month is when the new free games come out. But if you have places to push, you know them. Anyway, so... Um, the two free games, um, the internet's not too happy about. So the free games are Pro Evolution Soccer 2019. I don't give a single shit about that. I don't like soccer or football, whatever the goddamn other countries call it. We call it soccer. We call it soccer for whatever fucking reason, and we call it whatever else calls it rugby, football. I don't fucking know why America's so weird. I just live here. And the other game is called, it's called Horizon Chase Turbo, and it looks like, like an arcade racing game that, like, kind of is inspired by old school racing games. And, um... Yeah, this seems like a pretty lackluster month compared to, like, last month we got Borderlands, The Handsome Collection, and Sonic Mania, which two games I already own, so I didn't redeem them because I already own them both. But, um, you know, Borderlands is two games right there, and so 
this one seems like a weird month. Like, I might redeem at least that, that racing game might seem fun. I don't know. I'll check it out. But the Pro Evolution Soccer, I could not give any more cares. That's not how you word things. Finally, a new story that's not related to PlayStation is um, the Wii U got an update in 2019. So the update doesn't do much. It's just like a stability patch. What I just need to be used more stable now, I guess. Yeah, it's pretty slow news week, otherwise I wouldn't have included the story, but I think a lot of people thought it was funny that in 2019 that the, the Wii U got an update. So that's cool for people who still play U Wii U regularly. Mine's actually hooked up in my office, but I don't play it that much. So another news story that I probably wouldn't have included if it was a more news, news heavy week, but apparently there's a new Ice Age game coming out in the fall. I didn't know Ice Age was relevant still, but it's called Ice Age Scratch Nutty Adventure or something like that. And it's apparently like a 3D platformer. So maybe I'll like look at gameplay so it looks fun or something like that. Because I like 3D platformers and they don't really... They are coming back, but still not as strong as they used to be in like the late 90s, early 2000s. Yeah, so that's cool. I guess. Does anyone care about Ice Age? I've seen like the first one. That's it. Uh, apparently, Sony Pictures TV or whatever and Square Enix have partnered together and they're going to make a live action Final Fantasy series based on Final Fantasy XIV. So, that's cool. Um, it's going to have like a bunch of very Final Fantasy things in it, apparently. Um, I might check it out. I might not. I don't really watch too much TV and I like Final Fantasy, but like not as much so much I would want to watch a TV show about it. But uh, maybe it'll be good. Maybe it'll suck. Who knows? Next new story is that um, my Nintendo, or whatever it's called now, which is like the really bad Club Nintendo replacement, is finally getting physical rewards, but only in the UK. So if you have some of those Nintendo points, whatever the hell they're called, racked up, and you're living in the UK and you want some Splatoon Tune, Splatoon Tune, Splatoon <laughs> 2 posters, there you go. Um, I hope this means that we get more phys like actual physical rewards in the States and other territories as well, because I miss Club Nintendo. I liked earning points and then getting cool posters or whatever else. Like, they would give you cool stuff, and I miss Club Nintendo. The last new story I have here, which is not technically video game related, but it is in the same category-ish, but Detective Pikachu is coming to digital on July 27th and Blu-ray on August 6th. So, that's cool. Detective Pikachu is fucking great. If you haven't seen it yet, you need to. It's really adorable. They let Ryan Reynolds be as much as they as he possibly could in a PG movie, and it, I love it. So that's all I really had to talk about. It's kind of a slow news week, like I said. Probably going to be slow for a while because, you know, it's summer. Not a lot happens in the summer gaming-wise. But there'll be some stuff to talk about here and there. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And I know there's other stuff, but I don't really feel like talking about There's, like, some Bernie Sanders gaming news. Like, he opened up a Twitch channel. And what? Yeah, apparently Bernie Sanders has a Twitch channel. I don't know what games he's going to be streaming, but I hope it's, like, like something about, like, socialism or something. I don't fucking know. But that would be funny if he's just, like, playing Mario Maker. <laughs> um, and then, um, also he came out in support of unionization, unionization, unionization of the video game industry, but I don't really want to get too political on this show because it's not about that. So, anyway, that's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hi, right, quick video from my phone here. I forgot to mention, I was in a video of my girlfriend's channel that I post in the end screen. So, yeah, watch that. Bye. And I, hopefully I will not be late next week and I'll have this video have the next video ready on sunday like i usually do but till then see you guys later